Hey there, Botshots. In this video, I am showing you how to send a message to award a random winner. Now, if you saw my video I did last week, it was all about how to do a random drawing, basically a winner generator inside of ManyChat using a Google Sheets special clip it of code, if you will, or a formula inside the Google Sheet. Well, you might be wondering, after you picked the winner, then what? Well, you're in luck, because in this video, I'm gonna show you the second half, which is how to deliver the winner their good news, and also deliver, well, kind of the bad news to the people who didn't win. So let's jump into ManyChat and let me show you how it's done. If you didn't watch the first video, which is all about how to create the random winner, then you're gonna have to go watch that first, otherwise this isn't gonna make much sense. So the first step is to go into actions and we are gonna go down to Google Sheets, select action, and we are going to get value by row and we're going to select the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is for the BG chat drawing. That's the drawing where you are doing all your drawings. And we are going to select as you wish winner in this case. That's the winner for this particular drawing that I'm putting together. We're going to select the lookup column. Now the lookup column is actually a specific column that I created to be able to look up the winner. Let me show you in Google Sheets what this looks like. So this is our winner here. And basically we have our ref number and our winner. These are the headers. And I just put one, I put any, you could put anything here. You could put the word winner and you can look it up or you can just put one. In fact, let's put the word winner in this case to make it simple for you. So we have the winner and then the winner, it's every time we click something new here, it's gonna change the winner. So it's going to continue to do random drawing every time that's changed. So now we have a ref number or a referral number, what we're actually gonna look up. So let's head back over into many chat here and we are going to look up the ref number. Now before we do this, it's important that we create a bot field in order to look that up. So let's go create a bot field real quick. So we're gonna go into settings, we're gonna go to custom fields and scroll all the way down and create a new bot field. We're gonna call this ref number and we are going to have text. We're going to create the value, which in this case has to be exactly the same capitalization and everything as that ref number. Whatever you put here, it has to be exactly the same. So we're going to put that right there and click create. All right, so let's go back to our broadcast and back into our action. So we are going to go to our spreadsheet. Our worksheet is for the winner. And the lookup column is the winner right here. Uh, sorry, the lookup column is the ref number and the lookup value is going to be the ref URL right there, ref number, which is exactly what it is that I created. So we're gonna create that. And then the ref number, we don't have to bring that over. And the winner, we do need to bring over and we are going to bring over a drawing winner. And that is the same for every person. So we actually are gonna create a custom field and we are going to save the winner that we are bringing over into that custom field. So I created a custom field called drawing winner. So let's click on that and click on save. So now what is happening is the first step, we're gonna send out the broadcast. It's going to go ahead and create an action that's going to pull based off of that ref number, or in this case, I created the word winner, and the bot field are gonna match up and it's going to then pull the thing that's next to it, which is the winner's name. Then we create a condition. So after the first step, we create a condition and we are going to check if this person's full name, so we'll go full name, is equal to, we're gonna to go to this cuff here and we are gonna click up drawing winner, which is what we saved the cuff to when we pulled it over. So we are going to check if they are the same. And what I meant by that is this number that we are bringing over, the winner got saved to the drawing winner there. So now we are going to check if the person we are sending this message to is the winner. If they are the winner, what I did is I actually created a condition because when people signed up for this drawing, I actually gave them an option. So they actually came in, I asked for their email address as part of the drawing, and then I said, would you like to be notified 
for the drawing results and if so click on the OTN essentially go click on notify and then I set up that one-time notification so now I'm going to check if that person did opt in for one-time notification if they did we are going to send them a message saying congratulations you won if they didn't I actually saved their email address to the system field if you saved it to a custom field you would have to send the email through your email service provider or use Zapier in this case I saved it to a system field so that I can send it through ManyChat system. So if the person did not opt in for the one-time notification, I created an email. So this is what it looks like. If they opted in, I had a message here uh, for the content type was the one-time notification. And we have, as you wish, and then congratulations, you won first name. You won the free access to my Baby Got Bought course valued at $249. Just use the coupon code at checkout. And then I linked to that course. Mind you, this is not the real code. So no, you can't use it. All right, so if they did the email, what I did is I created a system field email. And by doing that, I just came over here and I went down and I said, send email. You can do the same concept with an SMS, however you want to send the results. Just make sure that if you're gonna send the results via messenger, that you get a one-time notification. All right, so let's backtrack just a bit. And let's go back to this condition that asks, is this person the winner? If they are not the winner, then we're gonna create another condition again, asking if they opted in for the one-time notification. So we'll go in there, we'll check, did the, do we have a one-time notification? And is the one-time notification as you wish? If it is, then we're just gonna send a message. Basically, everyone wins. I'm sorry that you didn't win, but I'm gonna give you $20 or $5, whatever you wanna do to give them a little incentive to go spend money in your shop or your store, like a little coupon code. So that's what I did here and I linked to my courses. Now again, if they did not opt in, we just created an email which just says, sorry you didn't win, but here's something that you can have instead. And then I created that shop now button which you can see right here. All right, so uh, then we are going to go to next. All right, so we are gonna make this a non-promotional mixed content, which means mixed tags, which is exactly what we're working with here. We're gonna go down to conditions and we are going to create a tag condition. Now, I actually tagged everyone who entered this drawing. So no matter what, whether they did a one-time notification or they did the email, then I have them in here because of the way I set it up. And what I mean by that is under the broadcast, again, they're only going to get a messenger message if they got that notification or they're going to get an email which does not fall under the same rules. So I'm not really concerned about that. As long as I have this right here, all the following, which is that tag as you wish. So those are everyone who entered this drawing. Now we're gonna go to schedule broadcast. I wanna send it out immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and put the time zone in here. We're gonna do time travel because I want it to show up at the time of their daytime. I don't want it to be like three o'clock in the morning or what have you. And then the notification setting, we could do a regular push or one regular notification. I think we'll probably do one regular notification. All right, so we're all set. We have this all ready to go and all I have to do now is click send now. So now you know how I have not only created this drawing, chosen a random winner, but then I looked up that random winner and I pulled it and I sent it back out to my audience. And now we know who the winner is and we know that we can give them all this kind of really great surprise. And I didn't have to do anything in terms of using special tools or anything because once it's built, I can actually duplicate this and do it over and over again. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you wanna learn more about Messenger Bots, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and join the Facebook group. Baby Got Bot on Facebook is a great place to deepen your knowledge of Messenger Bots and chat marketing. I do live Q and A's over there, additional resources, and lots of bot shots like you are over there helping their fellow bot builders with questions and answers. So I hope that you check that out. Also, don't forget to join me every Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, where I'm doing a live 30 minute kind of debrief of the week's chatbot news and other cool features that have rolled out. And I hope that you'll join me there. The link is down below, so check that out. And now you can go learn some more by checking out one of these videos.